Hey everyone, it's Ben from the Herbstead, and I've taken this take a thousand times. There's gonna be a lot of peas in this introduction. Hey everyone, Ben from the Herbstead, welcome back. And today, I'm going to be showing you the potato patch preparation process, part one. Potato patch preparation, the potato patch preparation process. Potato patch preparation process. In this process, we are going to use some methods that will hopefully increase soil health over the long term. We're going to be adding carbon, we're going to be breaking up hard packed soil, and we're going to be removing invasive weeds so that we can produce potentially preponderance potatoes. A plethora of potatoes, a surplus of spuds, a ton of tubers. Stick around and find out. We're going to take a couple tools with us. MVP of the yard this year already is uh, the broad fork. Absolutely love it. I'm going to try and do a review later on why I love it so much. Stay tuned. So here we are right next to the street. This is the location where we're going to be putting the potatoes at. To give you a good far off view here. So just over my shoulder, that's where we're going to be putting the potatoes. That's where we used to have, if you'll watch some of our older videos, a massive pile of brush, which I just burned it all. So that will be the location. And as you can see right now, it's still got, it's, it's pretty rough. It's still got all the English ivy that this whole area was covered in with a thick layer. Um, so what we're gonna do is the standard treatment. I'm gonna go in and give it a little bit more attention. I'm gonna do the broad fork. I'm gonna do the hard rake. I'm gonna try and pull up the majority of the ivy. And then I'm gonna go ahead with a couple layers of cardboard. And I'm going to make use of some of this fill dirt here and some of the old sod that we have laying to die. And I'm gonna mix those with some of our leaf compost. And hopefully putting that on top of the cardboard will be a good starter soil for the potatoes to grow in. I'll probably try and amend it with any leftover um, leaf mulch or compost that we have. Uh, but if we don't end up having enough compost, we're just gonna kind of tough it out and see how the potatoes do. So we gotta go with what we have. So that's what we have. All right, so let's get to cleaning. And we're gonna be careful not to come over too far because we have two or three blueberry bushes here. Not looking great, kind of scraggly, but we definitely want to keep them growing. So there's new growth on them. You can see the red parts of the stems. Just a little bit on this one. Um, but then these two here have quite a bit of new growth. So we're going to try and keep those protected as much as possible. But we'll probably try and bring the cardboard all the way over to this line here where you can kind of see that's where our cardboard stopped when we did this originally. So. Let's get into it.
First step down, we cleared the spot of the brush. We did the broad forking to loosen up the roots that were already present of the English ivy and any other plants there. Removing the majority of the big English ivy roots that I could find. And then I layered it down, you saw, with a thick layer of mostly chopped up leaves, really just trying to pack carbon into the ground here. In part two, we're gonna go ahead and lay down all the cardboard and mix some of these dirt, soil, compost piles that we have next to us. And those will be the mounds in which the potatoes grow. My hope is that the cardboard, these leaves, and the breaking up will keep most of the weeds that were already present from breaking through. And then in long term, the soil underneath here being more carbon heavy than it was will allow roots to penetrate deeper, improve the health of the plants above and the soil below. Leave a comment down below if you like what we saw, if you have any questions, if you think this is crazy, the amount of layers and effort we go in to try and prepare a piece of ground. We're doing this preparation. I'm going overboard here, not for just this year, but for the years ahead. How can I make this spot productive for the long term? And how can I improve the soil health over the years? Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell just so you can be aware of any time we put out new videos. Check out the links in the description for more Herbstead goodness. Thanks for watching, and as always, grow on.